Welcome back to the vlog, another week, and I'm also starting off this week with filming, and look who is here. I filmed two videos, so kind of like the same topic, but one for my channel and one for Tara's channel. It's a really fun one. So it was kind of like New york -y questions that we always get because we both live here. FAQs. Yeah, and we both lived here for, I'm like, three and a half years, you're like two and a half like years. years between us. Yeah, so we have a experience. <laughs> and we both work for ourselves in like this blogging, YouTubing industry. We've gone from internships to jobs to this. So I think it was like, we were able to cover a lot together, yeah, but I link them both good. below. They'll both be live by the time this blog was live next week. So definitely watch them and let us know what you think. <laughs> now to clean up <laughs> a few hours later, back in really comfy clothes, <laughs> my usual. Um, if you watched my last vlog, remember how I said that I bought this for Tommy because it's not very healthy? Well, guess who's been eating it? Yes, me. It's so good and I know it's bad for me, but I can't resist. And this is the yogurt that I eat. It's non-dairy. It's like a coconut milk yogurt and it actually tastes so good and like you wouldn't even notice that it wasn't dairy. It's not that I'm even dairy free. It's just in the US the dairy is so different and I just notice a really big difference in my body from it like even in my skin and stuff so I try and cut back as much as I can and just use these alternatives and to be honest I'm like so used to it now I wouldn't even notice the difference and while I'm here I also want to show you I kind of went on a bit of a health kick this weekend <laughs> and I was like listening to loads of um different podcasts and just about like different supplements and stuff so I actually went to the shop and got some new supplements so I'll show you what I got okay so I'm only on day three so I literally cannot give any recommendations yet but this is what I'm taking at the moment b12 d3 and i went on a probiotic i've been reading up so much about different probiotics and i figured i'd give it a go today is day three um so as i said i can't really judge yet but this is one i was recommended dr o'hara probiotics and i've seen these ones around quite a bit so i'll keep you updated on them and let me know if any of you use these and let me know how you get on with them and believe it or not, I've been making smoothies nearly every morning since Saturday. <laughs> so all day today, Tuesday. So yeah, four mornings and I've been putting this baby into them, spirulina. Apparently, I also read this weekend that if you don't have loads of meat in your diet or like those kind of sources to get protein, this is like the highest plant-based source of protein you can possibly get spirulina literally one tablespoon into a smoothie in the morning and it's really good for energy and you all know i love my coffee and i i definitely try to cut back when i can so the girl i was listening to was saying that she also loves coffee but now instead of having an espresso or a coffee before a workout she'll have a smoothie with a spirulina and she's like literally i have just as much energy if not more and it's more like gradual release energy so she doesn't get kind of a, a drop afterwards so I said I'd give it a go and it's actually been pretty good so far again I'm way too soon in to like give any proper recommendations or any kind of like reviews as such but I'm giving it a go I'm still drinking coffee <laughs> but I will say I've started to have the smoothie now first in the morning usually I used to like literally get up out of bed go into the kitchen like half asleep and make my coffee but now I'm doing the smoothie first and I it's just like a change in habit a tiny change and you never know it could make a really good difference so it's obviously nighttime now so I won't make the smoothie but tomorrow morning I'm going to Plade's at like 8 45 so I'll make a smoothie before that and I'll show you exactly what I put into it so yeah, that was my Tuesday. I'm gonna just edit a tiny bit more of the video now before I go to sleep. Tommy actually felt really sick, so he went to bed literally at like half nine. So I've kind of just been here on my own. It's kind of relaxing, but kind of boring. It's nice having his company here in the evenings. Um, but he just felt really sick, so he went off to bed and I'm just doing some editing, nothing too exciting. I actually had a meeting with a girl at eight o'clock, which was pretty late for a meeting, but it was just in like a local cafe and I was there till about half nine, so I'm kind of catching up on the video stuff now and then I'll just finish it off in the morning. A pretty busy day today, but we actually got lots done. The rest of the week is looking quite busy as well, all the usual stuff, meetings and filming and shoots and different collaborations we're working on and then it's one of our friends birthdays Friday night so we'll be going out for that and it's Easter weekend as well this weekend so that should be nice so I'm gonna finish a little bit of the video now and I will see you in the morning 
Happy Thursday! We are filming. We actually just finished filming. I, fil I filmed a video that I'm really excited about. It'll already be live now. It's kind of like a new series I want to start where I choose one piece, so like a white t-shirt and show you how to style it different ways because obviously you know we all have like the staple pieces in our wardrobe and you know it can be kind of like hard to think of ideas around that one piece so I want to do a new series where I just choose one piece in these kind of videos and style it three different ways like three really different ways to give you ideas so we just filmed that which is really good and now we actually have to go outside and film cutaways of like me in the outfits so we have a little bit more to do and that's going live tomorrow so we're actually going to go down to Soho just for a change of scenery and film on the streets down there it's kind of gloomy probably can't see now it's too bright but it's pretty gloomy today not the nicest of days but hopefully we can make it work also look what arrived i don't think i showed you the rug actually yesterday either let me turn on the light please don't judge this room it's not even like quarter finished um the last time you saw it though you wouldn't have seen the settings this isn't the way it's going to be i just put it on to give myself an idea but the rug came and it really brings out the table because obviously with the dark wooden floor it was kind of getting a bit lost so i figured if i brought in a statement rug it would really make a difference and oh my god it's coming together so so nicely and look what is behind me the office chairs and the new office desk they're all from Tav, T-O-V, which is such an amazing brand. Um, so I'm so excited to get these put together this evening. Another vlog, another assembly this evening. But no, these are going to be so worth it. Here's a little sneak peek, a little bit different to my usual, isn't it? Color eyes, um, but I have such a good vision for this. Okay, we made it to Soho. We're shooting this outfit for lots of different things <laughs> including the video we were doing earlier but we're gonna go to a cafe now and edit up some pictures and just finish off work for the evening it's about half four so we have like about an hour hour and a half left and then me and Tommy are actually going on a date tonight but it's a date with a difference <laughs> Wait until you see where we're going. Um, I'll fill you in later. Shoot done and we came for a treat. Cancel waiting for her food. We came to buy Chloe. It's this really good um, vegan place in Soho. And they have one in the West Village too. Like you literally wouldn't even notice a difference in the food. It's so tasty. I don't know how they do it. I'll show you what I got. This is like a version of mac and cheese and like this is some sort of fake bacon <laughs> and then um, sweet potato fries and then their ketchup is like beet ketchup which to be honest, like definitely isn't the same as proper ketchup because I'm addicted to that, but it's actually not bad. I'm getting used to it now. She finally got her food. <laughs> what would you get? A burger. The guac one. Classic one. That's good. Job's done. We're full. We're going to hop on the subway now at Canal. We're going to get the queue and head back up to the free side, meet Tommy and go on this mysterious date. Back home. No sign of Tommy. He was here because he texted me and he was like, Do you remember that we have our date? And I was like, Yes, of course I do. Maybe he's gone to the gym first. But anyway, where we are going. So most couples go for romantic dinners and do nice cam things. Not us this evening. <laughs> We're going to this thing called Shape House. Um every like six months in New York, there's definitely this like new fitness health craze. And I think that this infrared sauna is the new thing. So basically, Shape House is this. I don't even know if I'm going to explain it right. Like, I'm going to do it and maybe talk to you about it afterwards. But basically what I think it is, is that it's like this infrared sauna, but in the form of a bag. Um, there's loads of them in the city. There's higher dose. And then there's this one called Shape House. And basically you lie in this like sleeping bag style thing for an hour and you just sweat. <laughs> obviously separate bags i'm not even sure if we'll be in the same room or whatever or how it works but basically it's really good for your skin it gets rid of all the toxins out of your body it's just like this kind of new wellness trend that's been happening and i just think that everyone i follow at the moment is doing it so i really wanted to try it and so did tommy so we figured we would go there this evening because we've both been kind of busy and here he is <laughs> we've both been kind of busy um the last few weeks so this is like the first evening we've had a chance to do it so we give it a go with something different because we're trying to be healthy at the moment because obviously we're going to Coachella in two weeks two weeks tomorrow so yeah the healthy dates are <laughs> are what's happening at the moment so i'm going to change out into more comfy clothes take off all my makeup and stuff and then we'll head there not sure if i'll be able to vlog i'll bring my phone anyway and try and show you as much as I can.
is the next day I'm gonna fill you in about last night's um, shape house experience but before I do that I'm gonna show you my smoothie recipe at last um, I've literally been meaning to do this all week this is like the fifth one I've made this week I think so I've really been like keeping up with it and actually making them I find it easy because Sometimes with smoothies it can just be such an effort but I do find this one really easy and straightforward so I'll talk you through what's in it and then I'll show you how it looks. Okay so I found this recipe through a girl called Melissa Wood Health. I think I already mentioned this at the start of the vlog but basically I was like randomly listening to her in a podcast last weekend and she talked about this spirulina smoothie. She said spirulina is the best source of protein if you don't eat meat and all that kind of stuff so I figured okay I'll give it a go. I'm not like a huge, I never really stick to smoothies longer than literally two days but this one I really have been sticking to it and it's really easy to make okay so first of all you have a half a cup of water like that I have the Nutribullet I'm just using the bigger kind of um cup version the next is a half a cup of coconut water and to be honest I'm not the biggest coconut water fan but you honestly don't even um you don't taste it in this recipe at all it just kind of blends in fine it's just a half a cup of that so there is quite a good bit of liquid in it, so it's not like lumpy, it does even out. The next is a banana, and she did say the more ripe the banana is, the better. So this is like not the ripest, I just got it last night in the shop, but the ones I was using during the week were pretty ripe. So try and get them as ripe as you can, and just break that up. Then next is a half a cup of baby spinach and I actually made this yesterday without the spinach because I was out and you do notice the difference the spinach does give it that like healthy feel so I don't really like measure this out too perfectly I just kind of put in as much as I think I need and sometimes more probably than I need I like spinach then next she said to put in like one and a half cup of mixed berries but I mean I like berries but I don't like loads and loads of them together so I just have a little bit left here in this frozen packet so I'm gonna just put the rest in but not like a crazy amount just whatever you kind of want to do yourself whether you have like strawberries or blackberries or raspberries just whichever ones you have and it can be frozen or fresh okay and then I just chopped up some cucumber it says like a chunk of cucumber and it says to take off the skin because I think the skin she said doesn't blend in as easy so I just popped a little bit of that in you can put as much as you want sometimes I put more sometimes I put less basically kind of whatever I have but I'm down to my last bit so not a whole pile and then last but not least the spirulina she didn't actually say like a specific brand of spirulina so I just went to my local vitamin shop and just got whatever one they had um literally it's the vitamin shop spirulina and it's fine it's like the greenest of green powders like if Ken brings it in the camera you'll see like look at it it looks intense like it seriously is and I feel like it's something that would stain so be careful when you're when you're putting this in but basically you just need um like a flat teaspoon a flat tablespoon of this so just get your tablespoon just about that much and pop it in on top this is what makes it very very green but this is what's good for you and it's a huge source of protein if you don't get it from other sources and honestly like it looks a bit daunting but you don't even notice it when, when it's blended in with everything and like the banana and the berries kind of make it sweet so it cancels out that so even if you're like think you'll be scared of it and think you'll hate it, give it a go, definitely, it's not that bad. Okay, so that is everything, I'm gonna blend it up now and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so we're all done and I think that this is actually like for one person. I think this is what you're supposed to drink just for yourself. That's what she said anyway. Um, but Kaylin's here as well, so I usually give her, cause like I have these big glasses and it doesn't even all fit in to one. So I always kind of just like half it with me and Kevin and I find that that's plenty. Um, maybe sometimes if I'm here on my own, I'll drink the whole thing myself. But I think once you're getting any little bit of this into you, it's, it's good. I'll take less. <laughs> 
Okay, so as I said, it does not look the most appetizing, but I promise you it's not that bad. I'll write the recipe again down in the description box just in case it went a bit too fast for you or anything. And yeah, if you give it a go, definitely let me know and tag Melissa would help as well. She's like the the genius behind this and it's funny I I tagged her in insta stories and she wrote back and she was like you're actually going to come to the stage where you crave it and I'm kind of getting there I'm not going to lie like I wake up in the morning now and I just know I'm going to have it so yeah give it a go and see what you think okay not bad not bad even Kaylin says she's beginning to like it isn't that right Kaylin <laughs> anything to be healthy no don't well, you actually get used to it though yeah no it doesn't taste as bad as it looks Please ignore my messy desk. We're setting up the new desk today. Me and Tommy were supposed to put them together last night, but we were literally dead after Shape House. Um, I wanted to come on and talk to you about it. It was really, really good. It's pretty intense. Like You basically lie into this sleeping bag for all the world, and they put you in these really funny, like, long sleeve grey top and long sleeve grey pants and they put these like big thick socks on you too so like every single part of your body sweats like it's disgusting but it's supposed to be really really good for you it helps with sleep it helps with stress it helps your skin and um, it helps with weight loss if you want to do it for that side of things there's like loads of benefits of it and it's 55 minutes and basically you lie back in the bed they give you earphones um you have like netflix hulu like all the things on the tv i watched sex and city and i don't know what tommy was watching <laughs> and to be honest like the first 20 minutes i was like oh this is cozy this is nice you know not too like phased by it but then it like it gets intense after that and like I think after about a half an hour they give you a wet cloth for your forehead with lavender and that kind of cools you down again but definitely the last 10 minutes both me and Tommy were like we need to get out like we're we're feeling like it's almost like you feel restless like not that it's like too hot like just you kind of start to feel a little bit like oh I'm like stuck in here but we stuck it out till the end we kept going and then you sit in this like area at the end you just kind of cool down and like relax and they give you oranges like apparently vitamin C is really good after you sweat a lot and then you just clean up and you go home so yeah we felt really good after it I will say like we walked home after and I will say when I got home I was wrecked and even this morning getting up like I was so tired too so I think that it definitely takes a bit out of you but I'd say in the long term then it's really good for you and like while we were there actually while we were there <laughs> just when we went in we were like waiting in the waiting room and I, I didn't really watch girls that tv show that much but you know that the girl what's her name Kim? Show Sienna. I actually have no so, idea. I've never watched girls. You know the one that talks like really fast and like she's a little bit crazy like she was in there paying before me and I was like, whoa, this is like celeb <laughs> spotting. And she was actually booking in again for the next day. So like people do this really often. And I asked the girl afterwards and she was like, some people do it like three to four times a week. Some people do it two to three times a week. Like people are into this. Um, I don't know. I, I definitely would do it again, but not for a while. <laughs> I might do it like once a month or like before holiday or something just to kind of get like a detox, like get my skin and get my body um give it a detox but yeah it was definitely an experience tommy said he'd never do it again <laughs> so he won't be going back but kevin said you might try it mightn't you are you gonna mm. try it yeah i think i will just to see what it's like i think i'll hate it i think i'll physically hate it yeah i mean it's very claustrophobic i'd say like it's comfy and cozy but then yeah it gets a little bit claustrophobic but i mean i guess it's good for you but you should, you should give it a go. I think I will, yeah. Mm. So yeah, that's my opinion on it. I'll leave the link to it down below if you want to try it out. It's just called Shape House. There's one other one called Higher Dose that I think both me and Ken are going to try as well. That's an Equinox. So we might try that next week and I'll, I'll compare the both and I'll see which was harder, which one I feel was more beneficial or whatever. And I'll keep you updated. So I'm going to finish this now. I'm going to do a few emails and then I have to get ready because we're going to finish off shooting some bits for today's video. And yeah. Friday. Okay, all set to go. Um, this is what I'm wearing. It's what I'm shooting, but it's also my outfit for the day as well. We have the Balmain t-shirt, my frame jeans, my Zara shoes. I think this is from H&M. I know it's not expensive anyway, whatever the brand is. And then my fedora is from Forever 21. And I'm going to bring my Prada just worn on the side like this today. So yeah, kind of a nice spring look. It's kind of a gloomy today, but Kenneth said it's not that cold. So I think I should be okay with this. down in Flatirons where we're shooting today. 
placard building, if you can see it. <laughs> this is one of my favorite areas to shoot in. Um, it's always pretty busy, just like Soho yesterday. So we're just shooting this look now, taking some Instagram shots, the usual, and we're gonna give a stroll through the park now while we're here, and then back up to the Upper East Side just to finish off the last few touches for the video. So we're getting there, slowly but surely. Sunday, Easter Sunday, so we're just getting ready to go downtown. We're going to get some brunch. I figured I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. All white, these shoes again. I'm finally starting to break them in. They were so uncomfortable at the beginning, but they're getting much better, so I'm able to wear them for like actual long periods of time. Then I have this, it's from, where is this from again? I got it in Brown Thomas. It's like one of those brands. Maybe coast or i'll check afterwards and i'll write it down below and then i have my river island lilac um coat as well i figured i get a little bit more wear out of this before it gets too warm i have my chanel bag and my saint laurent sunnies and i'm good to go it's a nice day it's not like too cold here today so we're gonna go downtown get some brunch hopefully in san ambrose it depends how long the wait is they're not taking reservations today so it's just like a first come first serve like wait list thing so we'll see how long it is if it's really long we'll go somewhere else and then we're gonna just wander around the west village for the day and just have a chilled out really relaxing easter sunday we already had some easter eggs this morning for breakfast so we're not even like that starving but i definitely need to get something substantial into me so yeah it should be a nice day now back home we had such a nice day and i was just going to finish the vlog but i want to show you something new oh my god look how bright it is i'm like let me turn this down so look what we have in the room now it only took us a few hours to get it up yesterday i absolutely love it it's actually so reasonable i'll leave a link below i found it on overstock the same as the table it was definitely like i had to search and search for it but i eventually came across it and i'm so happy with how it turned out so Sneak peek, the room is coming together. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this vlog here because I'm gonna start the edit now. Um, in, did I show this in the vlog? I can't remember if I showed you the table either. I don't wanna give away too much because I'm gonna do room tours, but we have the new office table and the new chair. So, so much has come together in the last few days, which is great. But I'm gonna put all this stuff on my computer now and get the edit going. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I will see you again in the next one. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, I would be so grateful if you did. And also I saw um, a YouTuber that I follow say as well that if you click the bell button next to the sub subscribe thing that means you get a notification I think before it used to be that if you were subscribed you'd automatically get a notification when I post but now I think you have to click the bell button so if you haven't clicked it already click it and hopefully you won't miss any of my videos figured I just quickly mention that in case you didn't know as well like me so that's it for this vlog as I said I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one bye